I'm so glad you joined us here on the Weather Channel. I'm Dave Schwartz, along with Carl Arredondo. And Carl, we had some record lows on Thursday, and also some record highs in the West. That's right. I guess uh, Mother Nature still doesn't know what season it is, because we're seeing both a little bit of each. Typical springtime pattern. Yes, yeah, so uh, changing, and uh, watch out through the next couple of days, because we are going to see a storm system move through the midsection and eventually across the east. And First of all, heat. As you recall, on Sunday, as you may recall, lots of record high temperatures set from the northern high plains across Michigan and into the northeast. Monday, same basic story. And even today, the record highs come flooding in right along the east coast where the sun is still shining. And here are just a few of them, just to give you an idea of what is happening. Countrywide, Richmond, Virginia, 74. New York City, 70. Philadelphia into the act, tying an old record high of 69 degrees. Some of these records date back as far as 1883. That in Central Park, that's uh, day number three in a row with record high temperatures. The reason is we've got high pressure sitting right off the Carolina coast, and that's pumping southwesterly winds on into the east coast, and that means warm, and as long as the sunshine holds out, well, your temperature is going to rise. Meanwhile, to the west of that area, lots of rain. It's a very slow-moving system, and as a result, lots of rain has fallen in portions of Texas, and now into Louisiana, spreading on into Missouri, into Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee. See later on today and tonight in the area shaded in dark green there could be one two or more inches as this system slowly makes it through the Dixie states and eventually into the mid-Atlantic coast by later on tomorrow in the west well that rain is really snow melted down generally light snows we actually have a mixture of some light rain and snow falling in the Bitterroots and uh, anywhere from one to three inches possible there is a disturbance and a uh, funnel boundary that's moving southward through the northern Rockies at this time. That'll kick off just a little bit of snow. Also some travel problems in the high country. Northern Rockies, that'll generally spread a bit southward as we head into the overnight hours on the tonight and into Wednesday too, around Laramie and on into Cheyenne. Eventually Denver could see a dusting of snow as we head into tomorrow night and early on Thursday morning. As we take it back to the maps right now, this is what...